So, congratulations. Um, finally, you've received your well-deserved offer. So, um, you're joining BCG, right, in the, in the Budapest office? Yeah, yeah, exactly, so, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so uh, how, how has this whole uh, process evolved during, yeah, during these last crazy months, right? Uh, because we've been working together for quite, a, yeah, mm -hmm. quite some time. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, yeah, it was a very lengthy process, you know, the whole preparation, of course, and also due to COVID, things got a bit delayed. But I have to say that BCG was very much organized in their recruitment because they recruit in batches, you know, so they, they you know, take a pool of candidates every two to four months and then they process yeah. them all at once. Yeah. So, in fact, once, you know, once that uh, deadline, you know, passed and once the process actually started, the whole thing was wrapped up in, um, I think, around 40 days. Yeah. which I think was, uh, yeah, it was very convenient because I could also plan uh, my other interviews as well and make sure yes. they are all aligned together. Yes. So, uh, yeah, yeah, it was very professional. How did these interviews at BCG feel, if you think about the conversations you had mm -hmm. with the people that you spoke, etc.? Mm -hmm. How did you experience it? Mm. Yeah, it was actually very enjoyable, uh, and especially I would especially highlight the the second round, you know, so the final round, because mm -hmm. I in fact did no math in the final round at all. So it was <laughs> yeah, so it was it was very much uh, uh, qualitative because I had already showcased in the first round uh, the math. It was you know, I got great feedback on it, and also given yeah. my very much technical background, I felt like the final round was more tailored to me, to my profile, to my performance. It wasn't yeah. it wasn't just a random gimmick that was just ran through every candidate. It was more yeah. like really focused on seeing, you know, how I think and seeing what what yeah, what what are my uh, uh yeah, so to say, what are my biggest challenges in tackling cases or maybe mm -hmm. in the fit part, really trying to understand how I behave based on an already yeah determined uh, performance rating I got in the previous round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this sounds more like uh, what I always, yeah, you know it, I always tell it to my mentees. This is in essence a conversation and not an oral exam, right? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. And that, that's how it felt like. And in fact, in the last interview of the final round, you know, the partner, he asked me something like, hey, so this is, uh, this is, this is your final interview, right? So yeah, you've probably gone through all the other things like math and everything. So we're going to do something, you know, we're just going to talk today a bit about uh, yeah. you know, this problem we have and uh, we're going to see how it goes. I'm going to have some questions for you. So, yeah. you know, the whole introduction, it, it, it really feels like, you know, someone just called you on the phone and you just start talking. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And that Great. also helps you be really relaxed. It's, I, I think that's really important that it's not an examination. Yes, yeah. yes, absolutely. But you have also to have that mindset, right? Yeah. Because uh, very often people have the problem that even though the interviewer is coming with this uh, uh, a conversation uh, mode, mm -hmm. the candidate is so tight and thinks he's like in a test that they don't <laughs> even that they don't even respond to the conversation, right? Yeah. So yeah. that's very, very important, actually. Cool. So now in the preparation that we did, right, uh, we have really extensively covered both the principles yeah. and the process of mastering the case interview and then also the fit interview, obviously, right? So especially with uh, respect to case solving, mm -hmm. um, what we've done together is, yeah, very different from the usual book approaches um, because we've really dismantled cases up to their core um, and uh, everything at the end of the day has been based on the principles of value creation. Mm -hmm. So how did this uh, freedom of frameworks, when you want to call it like that, how did this help you in being successful in your interviews at BCG? Mm. Yeah, so I think there are two things here that are important. So the first one is that it allowed me to have a really strong foundation for solving the case from my point of view. And then the second aspect is tied to that. So making a really good impression on the interviewer as well, showing that I can think clearly about a problem that I'm not just some other candidate who just has a laundry list of buckets to look at, that yeah. I'm actually asking the right questions and I have a reason why I'm asking them. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then also coming back to the foundation, yeah, I, I think it was really it's it's really crucial to be able to you know approach the case with you know a crisp logic that really allows you to then you know apply it to different problems and also it allows you to argument it successfully because if you explain something in a logical way, how can someone tell you that you know that you're wrong that does that's not how you should approach it and yeah. and, and that kind of also you know lets you you know. Uh, you know, it gives you a backup and you can always like, if someone hasn't understood something, you can always yeah. say, well, this is what I meant because, you know, A follows from B and B follows from yes. C. So, 
Yes, so, and, and yes. that really, yeah, that really helps you set for you know you you set yourself up for success in the beginning, especially if you maybe get lost later during the interview. You just revert back to your original yeah. structure, which yeah. is effectively a blueprint. Yeah, and yeah, I mean, if you have that, how how can you possibly fail? Exactly, exactly. And what you say is very important because uh, what many people don't understand is that at the end of the day, the goal is not even to get to the quote unquote right solution, right? Yeah. This is the most unimportant part of the whole case. Yeah. It's about showing how you think and that you're able to come up with a logic, right? And mm -hmm. when you have the ammunition for that, then you're going to have a great discussion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and I think that's exactly what happened, you know, in the final round where I did not have to do the math. I just explained, oh, OK, so this is what I would then do. I would, you know, take these two, uh, you know, numbers and I would use them and, and, and so on. And, you know, yeah. I was even told, yeah, OK, that, that sounds great. You don't have to calculate it. Let's, you know, yeah. let's move on. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Cool. Um, but besides uh, the case, we also did uh, a pretty deep dive into the fifth dimension, right? Yeah. And we digged pretty deep into your answers. Mm -hmm. So in retrospect, what would you say? Um, which role did this play in your success? Yeah, for, again, for, for me, it was it was really important for me to be able to uh, yeah, showcase my strengths and link them to the overall profile I have. So basically what the fit preparation allowed me to do was uh, yeah, showcase uh, my, you know, my narrative through different types of questions and link it back to also who I want to be. So yeah. it's not like I had to rely on the types of questions they would ask me in order to really present myself uh, you know, in, in like a favorable light. No, I could actually use different types of questions and link them all back together to yeah. my profile too. You know? yeah. If I was talking about strengths, I could, you know, uh, take those, take the answer to this to the strengths question and link them back to why consulting yes. or what is my core driving force or yes. something else. And and that really allowed me to, you know, go, th go through the entire spectrum of my profile. And exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And, I, and, I, and I have to emphasize how important I think fit part is. I, I would even argue that, you know, if you have an exceptional fit part that is consistent in every single round with every single interviewer, even if you have a small imperfection with the case, it, you know, it, it's not going to matter. You will, you will go through because of that fit part. And, you know, I, I feel like if you're really exceptional in cases, but you're like average in the fit part, mm -hmm. there will be cases where you will not go through, right? You will simply not go through because someone else made a really lasting impression. And that's why I also think that, you know, take preparing for fit is equally as important as preparing for cases. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. and also, you know, that was showcased in the feedbacks after every round. And mm -hmm. I, I also felt, you know, even, you know, with some other firms, I really felt that the, the fit part was always my uh, home base, so to speak. So that, that that's mm -hmm. where I had the home field advantage. Yeah. And uh, it, I always felt comfortable in that part because, you know, because of the way, you know, we worked on trying yeah. to really link different parts of, you know, the, the, the profile or the characteristics yeah. uh, you know, to different types of questions I got uh, thrown yeah. with. Yeah. Yeah. So at the end of the day, it is pretty similar to the case part, right? Because uh, yeah. we establish a certain foundation, right? Yeah. You have a certain ammunition and yeah. then it doesn't really matter which question you get because you can always link it back yeah. to, to this foundation, right? Exactly. And that's the same thing that we also do, uh, did during the case, right? Yeah. So adhering to this uh, philosophy, uh, as far as I understand, was pretty important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think it was even more important because it was BCG and, you know, they always try to, you know, really, you know, they value individuality. Yes. And so it's really important to showcase who you are and why that is important to you. Yeah, and, yeah. And how, of course, it links back to what they're looking for. That's, that was, that's, of course, I think one of the other things we worked at. You really explained to me what they are looking for, not just BCG, but of course the other MBBs. And then that, that really, you know, helps also me try to think how to best present myself because I know exactly what they want to hear. Yeah, yeah, awesome. Cool, so um, I mean, as you know, there's many folks currently ramping up their preparation mm -hmm. because the recruiting season is upcoming in, in, in many, many markets. So um, what would you say, what would be your top tip or hint mm -hmm. that you would uh, give to someone who's just embarking on his or her preparation journey? Mm. Well, I would actually talk about two top tips here. So, so the first uh, top tip would be basically um, taking advantage of the fact that uh, uh, you, you know, what you offer your mentors is to practice, you know, a way for them to practice cases with each other. 
and I think that's really invaluable because that allows you to uh, yeah, actually practice with someone who knows what you're talking about, who doesn't uh, call you out for missing a small detail or not listing yeah. <laughs> one of the buckets and so on. So, yeah. th you know, that's the first thing, you know, and, and also the second thing tied to that is, you know, at one point, you can actually expand that whole exercise into not just practicing, you know, cases one-on-one, -on -one, but really doing a sort of structuring drills, right, even mm -hmm. in groups of three or more, and yeah. trying to apply the logic you teach to multiple problems and seeing how, you know, how, 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 in how many different ways, you know, you can actually, you know, take case, take the case forward. And mm -hmm. I think that really, you know, it really helps a lot because it allows you to cover a lot more cases in, little, in, in far less time, but you also focus on the essentials. Anyway. You really focus on the logic, right? You don't yeah. care what happens later. And as long as you have the logic, then you don't have any problems. And then, yeah, the second tip, well, that would definitely be, uh, yeah, never give up right that that's really important and it might sound like a cliche but you should never give up and especially if you have these interviews where which are back to back which which i had you yeah. know you just you know no matter how the interview went was it very good or was it average it doesn't matter you just do your best in the next interview you showcase yeah. yourself in the most positive light you can yeah. and you just keep going and you also and i think it's also important to remember that many other candidates they're not as well prepared as you know you are and mm -hmm. i think that also helps in understanding you know what is your true value here right understanding that you have the advantage here then you should just seize it and yeah, yeah. take it forward towards the offer <laughs> yeah 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 great great well thanks a lot for for sharing your perspective i think it's very insightful uh, to everybody who watches this mm -hmm. um so yeah congratulations again um when will you start did you already uh, have a start date set yeah, so it'll be probably uh, 1st of July, so uh, very soon. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah. So, uh, get some rest before that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then the fun begins. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. All right, cool, man. Congratulations again. Yeah, <laughs> thank you, fun. City. Cheers. Yeah.